What is going on everyone? In today's video I'll be showing you exactly my quick technique for uh, slicing up an email and putting it into Clavio or HubSpot. It's a fast method, um, much better than cropping, and if you've never encountered this topic before you'll be learning a, bit, a little bit more about an alternate way to build emails rather than building them natively within a platform like HubSpot or Clavio. And in my opinion, it can look a lot more aesthetic. And if you have design skills in Photoshop, you get to build, you're able to apply them and you have a bit more freedom um, for the different designs you can come up with. So with that further ado, let's go and jump right in. What we have here is a, a design that the designer for the company I do contract work for, Apostle, um, their designer made this and I think their copy editor wrote it. And it's pretty simple, it, you know, it's just a colored ba uh, background, rectangle panel, uh, pretty sharp image here, and then some font, you know, and t text with a little bit of button. And what I used to do before is I would use crop. I would crop this picture um, into sep three separate panels before uploading to the platform. Um, and if you haven't had experience with that, we'll get you'll get to it. Uh, you'll see whenever I upload it to the platform. but. First, I would just go like this, and then I would hit check, and then I would hit control, alt, shift, s, and I would save this one piece. And that's fine, but it can take a decent amount of time like that. So I, my partner uh, showed me a faster way to do this a little while back, and I'm going to show that to you guys. So instead of using crop, I'm going to use slice, and we're actually going to bring back that. And control zero brings your image to the frame, like let's see you got right here, you hit control zero, brings the picture back to the full, um, to, to where that's the focus point. So we've still got our, uh, notice I switched out a crop tool and I click slice tool, that it's gonna not gonna be select tool or the perspective crop tool, you're gonna right click. If it showed crop like it does like that, you right click and click slice tool. And then you're going to pick out your panels. In this case, um, the call to action button is what we're isolating uh, for the person to be able to click and the rest of the the email we don't want them to click. So what we do is this. We're going to drag, maybe make this easier for you to see. I'm going to click control plus, get a little closer into the image. I'm going to drag from the top left corner. It pretty much identifies automatically like what it thinks you're trying to click on and so it makes it a lot easier so it, it right now knows I'm trying to get to right there so I don't have to do much work just to get that panel and then from there uh, next step is you just keep going down and and doing the drag and drop from the corner so drag here that's my second panel you'll see that little number right there and then you drag one more time here and now you've got three so what we're going to do to get this to HubSpot is we're going to hit control file, export, save for web. I'm going to get PNG 24 and we're going to do unnamed, uh, make sure your width is 600 here, depending on what you're doing. Cause that's how wide, uh, emails are 600 pixels wide and we want bicubic sharper. We're just trying to line up the, make the image super sharp and not blurry. Uh, make sure you have interlaced on, PNG 24, high quality, and then save. And what's special about this is you're going to want to create a little folder for putting this in. So, let's see here, go, create a new folder. Test email slices. And this part's fine there. So now when I press open, um, it's got me in that folder. Put test slices. Uh, now it's going to put all those into that folder. And when I go to HubSpot, let's see here. And I go to email and I do clone. We'll 
we'll delete this ride afterwards, just so it's not, nobody gets weirded out by it. But, um, what I'm going to show you here now is, so we've got original email up here, but just something I cloned, I'm about to replace it. And we're going to, and if you've, uh, if you've been working with HubSpot, you've been working with email platforms, you're like, oh, well, how do these emails actually look decent compared to what you might find just trying to make one on HubSpot? And it's because, it, again, we designed it in Photoshop where a designer has all kinds of range and ability and probably a lot more developed skill in designing it. Alternately, this can also be custom coded. Um, that's another way to make things look amazing and, and the most advanced way in terms of um, you get responsive, like you can have one look a certain way for email, for mobile, and another one look a different way for desktop. But ultimately, right now for this client, we have these emails designed like this, and that's the reason why I'm using the slice tool to upload versus just um, building the email in the platform. So what do we do? We go to upload images. And here, automatically, this folder this is the um, the folder we just created in, with the image slices in it. You'll notice this here. It's um, you want to make sure no image is above a thousand kilobytes um, to make it where it, it loads quickly enough, and there isn't delays based on people's internet speed. And um, so we're good there on the si file size. We're going to go ahead and do the first image slice, and then. The second one. Actually, that's not the right one. Sorry, guys. We are going to go here. There we go. Three. You'll notice a little number on the right side when you hover over it. That's the first, like the series of the slices. So I'm going to pick the first one. And then I'm going to pick the second one. There's number two. And here is number three. And now we're going to take a look at what we made. Does it look clean? Does the image look sharp? Yes, it does. And that's how you make a sharp image transition to web and still look good from what we had in Adobe Photoshop. And then from there, you still need to put your alt text and links. In this case, we're just putting the link on the start of my will. But we're going to want to put some alt text like And there, there you have it. Um, instead of doing a crop, uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with this design, this uh, design style and this upload style for email, then don't do crop, use slice, slice the panels, upload like that, so much faster. And if you've been building emails in HubSpot and you're ready for some prettier designs or your clients you know, complain a little bit and like want some nicer designs, then working them through Adobe Photoshop, um, through a design, whether it's a custom designer, um, or yourself can be a great way to make some unique designs that people that are aesthetic, the eye catching that people want to uh, click through. So if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to slap a like, a subscribe. No pressure though. We love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay tuned for more videos. And thank you. Peace.